G'day kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. Hey kids, Ozzy here. I hope you've been having lots of fun today, because I certainly have. Guess where I've been? I'm here at Capital City Waste Services, and the guys have let me come down to check out a real life garbage truck. But do you see anything different about this garbage truck? That's right, it's a little bit smaller. It's a compact truck. It's called a junior truck, and it's designed that way so that it go, can go under big tall buildings but into the car parks so it can get to the places that the big mummy and daddy trucks over the back there can't get to. But it can do everything the same that the big trucks can do, just on a smaller scale. So the guys have been super good to us. They've let us come down and Aussie's even been allowed to have a drive and they've even let us bring you along so that we can go and check things out together. So come on, let's go and see the different things that the garbage truck can do. Let's go. All right, let's go and have a look around the truck before we get into any detail. So we've got some controls here. They make things move and lift things up. Oh, I think that's hand sanitizer. Make sure your hands are clean after you've touched the rubbish in the bins. Over here, we've got the lever and some buttons. They control this tailgate and the rubbish goes in here. I think it's all squashed up in there and it goes inside. Come around here. Got some more buttons and controls here. So many buttons on this truck. So up here we've got lots of flashing lights all around the truck. We've got the petrol tank or the fuel tank. Oh, and this guy here. I've been told don't open this if there's rubbish inside because that's where the rubbish lives. And if you open it when it's full, you're gonna get rubbish all over yourself. That's not fun. All right, we've got some gloves to protect our hands. We've got a shovel and a broom so that we can push any excess rubbish out. And then this guy, it's a fire extinguisher. So safety first, if anything goes wrong when you're out there with the truck, you gotta make sure you can put it out with the fire extinguisher. And we're back to the cab. Why don't we jump inside and see all the different controls and see what happens inside there. Let's go. So this is the front of the garbage truck. This is what's called a cab. Looks like a pretty standard truck, doesn't it? But the difference is, down here, we've got all these fun controls that help us control everything at the back of the truck. But nothing's gonna work until we start the engine, so let's fire it up. All right, these buttons down here are our two important ones. That puts power to everything, and that helps turn everything on too. Now, two buttons which control the safety features of the truck, are these two. That's gonna turn on our flashing lights to make sure that people know where we are and keep us safe. And these three buttons, they control things like the blade inside the truck, which pushes the rubbish backwards and forwards. And this guy picks up the tailgate and puts it back down again. And this last button helps us pick up the bins to dump the rubbish inside the back of the truck. Why don't we go back there and check it all out and see how it works. Come on, let's go get some bins. All right, we're seen inside the cab and let's go down the back for the fun part. So we've got our flashing lights going. Let's go and pick up some bins. Now here we have these two guys, 240 liters each. This might be a small truck, but it can pick up a lot of stuff. Let's go around this side. We'll show you how it works. So we've lined the bins up, which is really important to make sure that this lifter or the grabber arm can pick the bins up and dump the rubbish into the hopper. Over here, we've got the lever. When we press that, up go the bins. 
out goes the rubbish. Let me bring him back down. And then check this guy out. So this big strong arm is going to come down, pick it up, and scoop it up. And take it up and dump it inside the body of this little junior truck. And it sits inside there in the compression body. So that's two of those little bins. But this little beast can also pick up a big bin. I'll show you. Look, green and gold, just like Aussie. So, same thing. It's gonna line it up with that arm. So the grabber arm can come up, and pick the bin up by its handles. Up goes the bin. Out goes the rubbish. And look, it's empty now. And then this big strong arm comes down and it's gonna scoop it up for us. And just like that, we say, see you rubbish. So it's gone up inside the compression body. Now, why don't we come down here and see what else this baby can do? Come on. So we've picked up some bins from the back there because this little guy is a rear loader. And the rubbish has gone inside the truck into the compression unit. Now when we've finished picking up rubbish for the day, we're gonna go back to the tip and we're gonna use this guy to clear the truck of rubbish. So let's have a look at these controls. So this one here, it's going to lift up the back of the truck for us. Look at that tailgate going up, up, up into the air. So once that tailgate's up nice and high, we're going to push the blade back inside and that's going to push the rubbish out the back. Check that out. All right, looks all clear down this end. All right, so once that blade's pushed all the rubbish out and the truck's nice and empty, we're gonna bring that tail back down. So there's one more button here, and that's this big, bright red one. And that's in case something's going wrong. If for some reason something's getting stuck inside, you quickly hit that stop button, and that's gonna stop anything from moving, going up and down or back and forward. So that's it, that's our junior truck. We've picked up the bins, we've brought the rubbish back to the tip, we've emptied the truck. Now this guy's ready to pick up some more rubbish. Come on, let's go. there you go kids, another super exciting visit. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. This has been super exciting, getting to drive the little junior truck and operate the controls that pick up the bins and empty the truck at the end of the day. Two more really important things to keep you safe. It's okay to be fascinated with trucks. I certainly am. But make sure you never get too close to the garbage truck. They're big, they're heavy, and they can do some damage if you get too close. And number two, although it might look like a bit of fun, Never chase a garbage truck down the street because that is very dangerous, especially if the garbage truck driver doesn't know you're there. Okay, hope you've had lots of fun. We'll see you again soon in the next video with Aussie. Until then, stay keen. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine.
G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now I'm super excited about this one, and I know you will be too, because I know a lot of you love diggers. That's right, check out all this equipment behind me. I've come down to a place called MCS Civil, and they have all sorts of construction equipment, lots of big diggers and rollers and water tanks, but we're gonna focus on this one today, and that's an eight ton excavator. That's right, it's just a really big digger. We're gonna get up close and personal, and Ozzy is even gonna drive it. So why don't we go and get stuck in? But before we do, safety first of course. I need to get into my safety gear. So, I've got the two important things, a hard hat and a high-vis shirt. Let's go and take a closer look. So kids, come with me and let's check out the outside of the digger and we'll check out all the different parts. So these diggers don't have wheels, they have these, which are called tracks. And that's what helps the digger drive forwards and backwards. We've got some mirrors so that we can see where we're going when we're driving. Now this big thing here, this big arm, that's called a boom up to here. And then the end of it is called a dipper. And at the end of the dipper is a bucket. And that arm is controlled by these hydraulic cylinders. Now this thing, this bucket, this particular one is called a mud bucket. And that's because it's really big and it can pick up lots and lots of dirt. Then it's got this smooth edge because it's used for finishing and getting a nice smooth finish on the surface of the job that you're working on. We also have buckets that have really big teeth on the end and they're used for breaking rocks and digging big holes. Let's go and see what else we can find. Check this thing out. This thing's called a blade. It's like a mini bulldozer, isn't it? And that's used for pushing the dirt and materials forward. So this side is another track and that's used for driving us forwards and backwards. Now this big thing here, that's called the cab. And that's where the driver sits and uses all those different controls to make the bucket go up and down and the arm move left and right. We'll get into detail in a minute. But let's check out the rest. On the back here, we've got some safety features. We've got the flashing light at the top. We've got a camera so that you can see what's behind you when you're driving. And a really important one, that's the safety stop button. So if anything's going wrong, bang, you hit that and everything shuts down and you can be safe. And then of course at the back here, that's where the engine sits. And that's what drives and keeps this beautiful digger going. So should we get inside, see if we can give it a drive? Let's go. Safety first, kids. Put this thing down. Let's go. Woohoo! How cool is this? So there's so many different controls in this cab. You can see that one that I was holding with my left hand made the cab go to the right. And if I went the other way, it would go back to the left. This one, that's going to make the arm go up and down and the bucket go tilt back or tilt forwards. Let's see it in action. Look at that, so I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna see if I can grab that big bit of dirt there. So kids, I've just picked up a big lot of dirt and I need to move it back around this way to make sure the vehicle is nice and sturdy. All right, so now with that facing forward, we're a whole lot more stable. So to drive it forwards, we just need to push these two handles here, which you can also do with your feet. How cool is that? That way we can have our hands on the handles and our feet on the pedals. And then when we've got it to where we need to be, we're just gonna use our hands and we're gonna push the bucket and the arm out and we're gonna dump it out onto the ground. And how cool is that? 
We've moved the arm and the bucket. And we've moved some dirt. Hey, how much fun is that? This control on the left hand here, if I push it to the right, it's going to spin the whole cab around to the right. And if I push it the other way, which is our left, it's going to spin to the left. And then this control on my right hand, if I pull it up, it's going to make that arm go up, up, up into the air. Just like that. And I can push this left hand out and it makes the bucket go out and I pull it down and it makes the bucket come back in. And push this one down, makes it go down. And remember, with our feet, we can drive forward. And I'm gonna reach out pick up some more dirt. Okay kids, so we've seen how that boom and the dipper and the bucket, which makes the big arm of the excavator, we've seen how that works and moves the dirt around. I'm gonna show you now using this lever how we operate the blade. So we're gonna push the lever down and then using these two handles, we can move the excavator forward and that pushes the dirt and makes it nice and smooth and flat. Look at all that dirt. So we're using it almost like a bulldozer. And then when it's where we need it to be, we can just move backwards, always making sure we have a look in the camera and our mirrors to make sure that there's no one around us. Because safety first, always kids. So I'll show you again, just with that blade down like that we want to go forwards just like a mini bulldozer look at all that dirt that we're pushing forwards pushing it and making the ground nice and flat How cool is this? So much fun driving a big digger like this. So 
So who wants to be a construction worker when they're older and drive big diggers like this? It's so much fun. Big thank you to MCS Civil for allowing Aussie to come down and teach you kids all about this awesome digger. See you on our next video. Until then, stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day Aussie. 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 G'day kids, Aussie here. Now I am just a little bit excited today. I am in my happy place because we've come along to prompt mowers and we're gonna learn all about lawn mowers. But not just your push lawn mowers, we're gonna go straight to the big bad boys, the right on lawn mowers. I'm super keen kids, come and check these out. Let's go. So kids, we've got three different types of lawn mowers to talk about today. We've got more of your traditional type here. This is a ride-on mower, or otherwise known as a lawn tractor. The one in the middle, that's a zero turn. And then the one down the end, that's a rear engine or a front cutter. So let's start with this lawn mower, kids. I reckon this one's gonna be one of my favorites. Can you guess why? That's right, it's green and gold, just like Aussie. So this is a John Deere ride-on lawn mower, or a lawn tractor. Check this out. This is the chute, so when the grass is cutting, the grass is gonna come out the chute. Got a nice yellow seat, looks comfy, doesn't it? If we lift that up, see that there? That's where the petrol goes. We've got this lever over here, can you see that? That controls the deck height, it goes up and down. Just like that. All right, this one here, that's a brake. So when you're not driving it, and you don't want it to roll anywhere, gotta make sure you put the brake on. But check this out, this is where the engine is. I can open it up and have a look inside. Oh, look at that, kids. So that's the engine. That's what's going to drive this thing. It goes pretty fast. And that's the battery. That's how you start it. Just close that one back up again. But let's jump on, shall we? So you just sit up here when you're driving it. And it's a steering wheel, just like a car. Okay, then you've got a, a lever here. Push it forward to go a little bit faster. Can you see the picture down here? It's a picture of a hair and a tortoise. Which one do you think is going to go faster? That's right, the hare is going to be faster. You push it forward, make that engine spin faster, and then the tortoise will make it go a little bit slower. All right, that's pretty much everything. Should we fire it up and go for a drive? Let's do it, kids. So that kids, that's a right on lawnmower. How much fun is that? Let's go and check out the zero turn. So kids, this is a zero turn. So 
What looks different to you? Well, it's red, of course, so does that make it go faster maybe? I don't know, maybe. But is there a steering wheel on this one? No, that's right, there's no steering wheel. That's because you steer using these things. These cool levers here. Everything else looks pretty similar, but there's no engine on the front, is there? There's an engine on the front on that one, but the engine is on the back. Come check it out. So we've got the engine sitting on the back of this one. But other than that, you've got the chute that comes out the side, you've got the deck underneath, that's what cuts the grass. It does look a little bit bigger, doesn't it? So that's because the blades are bigger, so it's probably gonna cut a little bit more grass, and it is gonna go a little bit faster, not because it's red, but that's because it's got a bigger engine. But let's jump on and check out how it goes. Okay kids, so there's no steering wheel on this guy. That's because this is essentially a steering wheel. So when you wanna go forward, you push it forward. When you wanna go backwards, you push it backwards. But these things move individually like that because this one on the right controls the right rear wheel. This one on the left controls the left rear wheel. And that's why it's called a zero turn because if you push them in opposite directions, you can do super quick turns on the spot in a zero spot. Zero turn, that makes sense? All right, we've got some other controls down here. You've got the park brake, you've got that hair and the tortoise again. So that's forwards and backwards to make the engine rev and spin quicker. Okay, you've got the choke here. So you need to have the choke on to start it and you need to have these guys open to start too. You've got a pedal down here and that controls the deck height. So up and down, how short or how long you want the grass. All right, I think we're ready to give this thing a go. Should we try and start it? Let's go kids. That is a whole lot of fun. Kids, you see those tight little circles I was doing? That's because of the way it drives. And that's the difference between this one and the ride-on mower or the lawn tractor. Let's go and check out this one over here. This one is the rear engine or the front cutter. Let's check out the differences on this one. So when you turn the steering wheel, it's the back wheels that turn. And that makes it really good for getting in around tight places like trees and stuff. Now this is where the engine is. Come check this out. So the engine sits at the back, so behind where the driver sits, which is really good because all the noise and the heat and all the smoke comes out the back. So it's a bit more comfortable to drive. So we've got this um, lever here, and check that out. That controls the deck height. And with the deck, the cutting deck at the front, it means you can get in under bushes, so you can drive in and cut under shrubs and bushes and stuff. You've also got the blade height here, so how close you're cutting the grass. You've got the other controls here. You've got that hare and tortoise again, and you've also got the start and stop switch there. You come around here, you've got, that's where the petrol goes, or the fuel, and you check out, this is where the um, cutting deck is, but you can see that there's no chute. So with no chute, the grass has nowhere to go, so the grass goes back through the blades and gets cut again. So it's like mulching it, as well as cutting it, and it doesn't leave a big spread of grass in its trail. So come on, let's check it out what it's like when we start it. We've got the foot brake here, and we've got an accelerator to go forward, and this pedal is to go backwards. Let's start it up and see how we go. <laughs> Ooh, I like the sound of this one. All right, we'll take the foot brake off. 
see out those wheels. So you can see how it like turns in the middle. All right, let's go for a little spin. That's cool, isn't it? types of ride-on mowers. Which one's your favourite? Yeah? We've got the ride-on mower down the end there, which is also known as a lawn tractor. We've got the zero turn. We've got this one that we're sitting on here, which is the rear engine or the front cutter. Yeah, I quite like the green and gold. I quite like how fast the zero turn is, but I reckon this guy would be pretty fun to cut some grass in. So kids, what do you reckon we should do right now? Let's go do what lawn mowers do best. Let's cut some grass. All right, we're going to engage. Woo -hoo -hoo!
So there you go, kids. How much fun is it when you get to cut the grass on a ride-on lawnmower just like this? I hope you've learned lots about ride-on lawnmowers. I hope you've had lots of fun today. I certainly have. We'll see you in our next video. Until then, stay keen. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now how cool is this place? A car wash. That's right, we've come along to IMO Car Wash. Now this is the biggest and the best I've ever seen. So we're gonna go inside this big machine and check out how it all works. It's gonna be super fun kids, I'm super excited. So let's go check it out. And before we do, I've got my car here. Looks pretty clean, right? But it's no good taking a clean car to get cleaned. So let's use this mud that I've got here and muddy it up. Oh, kids, this is the fun part. What do you reckon, kids? Am I making it dirty enough? Do you think this big car wash is gonna clean it? I hope so, or I'm in a lot of trouble. Let's paint this car with mud. Yes, look at that kids. Now that is a dirty car, definitely needs a car wash. It actually looks like I've been four wheel driving. So come on kids, let's go inside the IMO car wash, this big machine for a little walkthrough to see how it all works. Now kids, IMO Car Wash is the coolest car wash I've ever seen. It's actually the biggest car wash company in the whole of the world. They have 900 of these big machines all around the world in 14 different countries. Pretty cool, hey? The best thing about it is that they use recycled water. 80% of the water that they're using is recycled. So they're very, very conscious of making sure they don't make a negative impact on the environment. Another cool thing, all the detergents and the waxes that they use, they're biodegradable. So they're friendly for our earth. All right kids, now this is awesome. We are allowed to have a little walk through and check out how everything works. So in this process, the first thing you do is a pre-wash. That's where the person comes along and uses soaps, they've got brushes, Give the car a bit of a clean. This one here, this one's for the wheels. So you scrub the wheels like that. And then you give it a spray. So you're gonna spray just like that. And then the car comes into the automatic section. So it's gotta drive up here. It's gotta put its wheels on this thing. That's called a conveyor belt. And if you check this out, there's all different types of washers that you can get. Just a basic one right through to the hot wax and shine. So depending on which one that you want, that's what determines all the different stuff that comes out. And the man or the lady that works here will press this button here. 
I'm going to go for the hot wax shine. So we're going to come in here, and this is a triple foam. Not one foam, not two foams, we're talking three foams. So that's going to make it nice and clean, I think. So the car's going to come in here, get a triple foam. These things are for the wheels. Now this thing is going to come along the car, up the bonnet, up the windscreen, over the roof, down the back of the car, and down. And it does all that because it's super clever. It senses where the car is. That's how it knows it's got a big car or a small car, and it just traces the shape of the car. Pretty clever, I reckon. So then you come through to the next section. You can see these things up here. Depending on which of the packages that you bought, that's going to tell us which chemicals drop down. So there might be some wax, there might be some soap, all sorts of things. These brushes, they spin around really fast, like that, and they go along the side of the car. So the car would drive through the middle and this would go around the side. Get it? It's pretty cool. This is another one that goes along the bonnet, up over the roof, and down the back. So that's spinning the whole time, cleaning the car. All right, what else we got? Got some wax in here. So it's gonna make the car nice and shiny after it's been cleaned in the first section. You wanna come through here? Come on. Keep coming. Now this section is where you get a blow dry. So it's gonna dry the car. So we've got a big one here and then two at the front. And that is what dries all the water off. Oh, but I forgot. Let's take a step back. This bit here, see how it's on either side and it's down low? What do you think that could be for? What's down low in the car? It makes it drive. The wheels, good job kids. So this is gonna make the wheels and the tires really shiny. All right, so once we've done that, we're gonna have the dry. And then the last bit of these nice, super smooth bits of material, and that's gonna just dry off any of the droplets that the dryer didn't get. And out we go. And that, kids, is how the IMO car wash works. And it can do one car in three minutes. That's a lot of cars, 33 million cars every single year. I love this place. All right, kids, we've learnt how it all works inside the big machine. I think it's time to take Ozzy's car through and see what it can do. Let's go. I've made this car very, very dirty. So, let's see what they can do. Very thorough. These guys know how to wash a car, that's for sure. So we're just getting the pre-wash now, kids. So they've covered the car in soap suds, the wheels and everything. Oh, I'm being called forward. So the pre-wash is finished. Now it's my turn to go onto the conveyor track telling me when to go and when to stop. Have a good one, he said. Absolutely. So this 
this car is filthy dirty. We're not just gonna need one foam or two foams, we need a triple foam. Three different types of foam. Surely that's gonna make this car clean. I don't even need to steer. Look, I can sit there like this and the car does its own thing. Oh, can you hear that? That's the brushes. That's the brushes going around and cleaning the car as they move back and forward and we move between them because we're on that conveyor track. Here one, here's one coming in front of us. Check it out kids, look out. Ah! We're getting more soap sprayed on us up there. And we've got that big brush coming towards us. You'll see it hit the windscreen in a second. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is awesome. There it goes, it's done the front. Oh, look, it's going over the top now. <laughs> Very cool. Now we've got the big brushes that are gonna come up the side of the car. So we've had the wheels cleaned, we've had the bonnet, the windscreen, the roof and the back. Now these guys are gonna do the sides of the car. The best fun ever. This is cool. <laughs> I love this. I love this. This bit is cool. Look at this. Got some super bright pink lights that we're driving in between and they're squirting some kind of soap, and I think you might find that that's the wax. Look at this. Soap and wax falling all over the car. Just a gentle little spray, just to remove some of that soap. This is cool. Yeah, I like that bit. That's awesome. Oh, and it's raining in front of us here. Okay, so we've got more water falling onto the car just to remove that soap and wax the car, make it nice and clean and super shiny. Because that's how we want our cars to be, isn't it? Nice and clean. And it's the best when you don't even need to do anything. I'm washing the car, just sitting in here with my arms folded. Nice relaxing way to wash the car, I reckon. Okay, so that was the final rinse. We're just finishing off the back of the car. Now, oh, what are these things? This is the blowers. Remember we walked through and we saw the blowers before? So this is gonna blow all those water droplets. Look, it's blowing the droplets off the car and drying it. It's like a big hair dryer. Look, it's blowing all the water off the roof. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> this is amazing. Best ever. There's still so much water on the car. Then we've got some side blowers. Look at the side blower here. So that's blowing the side of the car. This place is so clever. And now look in front of us, we're going through some curtains. It's like we're coming out onto the stage in a nice, shiny new outfit. Look at these things. They're nice, soft bits of material and they're just going back and forward over the car to get rid of all those drops and make the car super dry. And there's a little sign there that says start. When the green light goes on, drive off, test your brakes and see you next time. Wait for it to go green. Yes, and we're away. Start the engine. And off we go. What? No way, kids. 
Can you believe how clean this car is now? Remember how it looked with all that mud on it? This, what an awesome car wash, kids. It's almost as clean as it was when the day it was bought. Kids, did you have lots of fun? I certainly didn't. What was your favorite part? I like the bright lights and those big loud brushes going up over the car and then that dryer at the end. That was also pretty cool. Kids, I hope you had lots of fun today. We'll see you on our next video. Until then, stay keen and stay clean. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Aussie? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Aussie episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours, and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. So can you guess where I am today? That's right, I've come down to the local fire station. How exciting is this gonna be? So we're gonna get a chance to go inside and check out a real fire truck. We're gonna see the firefighters' uniforms, maybe even meet a real firefighter, and if we're super lucky, they might let us turn on one of the hoses. How cool is this gonna be? So this station, this is called the RFS, and RFS stands for Rural Fire Service. Now, because in Australia we have so much bushland, in New South Wales we have both the RFS and the Fire and Rescue. Now the RFS look after emergencies and fires in bushland and farm areas all around New South Wales. And the Fire and Rescue, they mainly look after the city areas. And another really cool fact is that the New South Wales RFS is the biggest volunteer fire service in the whole world. How awesome is that? Makes me pretty proud to be an Aussie. So come on, let's go inside and see what it's all about. Let's go. So before we can help out in an emergency or a fire, we're gonna put on a uniform to help keep us safe. I'm gonna start with a jacket, which has been lent to me by one of the firefighters here at the Rural Fire Service. You can see it's nice and bright yellow, has reflective strips so it's easy to see, and it's got lots and lots of pockets for all your tools and gloves and different things. Look at this, we've got ourselves a radio so that we can talk to other firefighters and send messages. We're gonna need one of these, aren't we? Very important to wear a helmet to make sure our head's protected and our eyes. Now I don't have them, but usually you'd wear a pair of pants as well and a big, heavy, protective pair of boots to keep your feet safe. And the final thing, there's a pair of gloves. Keep your fingers and your hands safe. So now that we're all dressed, let's go and jump in the front of the fire truck and see what's in there. Let's go. So now we're inside the fire truck. How cool is this? This is called the cab. Lots of room up here. There's enough room for six firefighters. Back there you can fit four. Up in this seat, this is the officer in charge. So Aussie is the officer in charge today. And over in the driver's seat, we've got a real firefighter. Come and meet Roz. Hi Roz. Hi Aussie, welcome aboard. Thanks for having me. Now I don't know about you kids, but I'm pretty excited to hear the sirens and see the flashing lights. Roz, do you reckon we can fire the truck up and get those things going? We sure can. <laughs> I always love hearing the sirens and seeing the big fire truck coming down the street. How much fun is it? Now, there's lots of other cool stuff up here too. We've got some computer screens and they tell us where to go, where the fires are. So we've also got lots of radios up here too. This one is for the group leader and he tells our truck and lots of other trucks where to go and what to do. And then this one over here, 
as to talk to our own fire crew. So we've seen lots of cool stuff inside the cab. Thanks for letting us inside the truck, Roz. Why don't we go outside and see all the other fun stuff on the outside of the truck? Come on, let's go. So we've seen inside the cab. Let's have a walk around and check out the outside of the fire truck and see all the different parts and the different equipment and tools they have. So this is the front of the truck. Got some lights. This bit here, that's where the horn and the siren comes out of. We've got some reflective strip, so it's easy to see the fire truck as it's coming down the street. And this whole thing here, that's what we were just sitting inside. That's called the cab, remember? All right, this door here, that's for the driver. So the driver goes up there and sits up the front. This back door, that's for the crew. So they climb up these steps to get all the way up into the cab up there. What else do we have? Let's check out these. All these things are called lockers. Let's see what's inside. So we've got some hoses. We've got some nozzles and some fittings. Pretty cool. What else do we have? Check out this one. Oh, this one's got some safety gear. Some first aid kit. And we've got some sun cream, which is very important in the Aussie summer. Some hand sanitizer. Make sure your hands are clean and some air guard, that's to keep those bugs away, which is also important in Aussie bush. And what's in this locker? Oh, these are important. Some fire extinguishers. We've got some petrol, some tools, chainsaws, and some rope. Let's go around the back. We've got some hoses here. Oh, and there's a hose here. There's two hoses. And look, this is where you can connect some other hoses. And that connects to this thing, and that's called the pump panel. And that controls the water out of the pump, which comes from the tank. And the tank at the back there, that holds three and a half thousand litres. That's a lot of water. Come on, let's check out this side. Look up here, we've got a ladder but it's only a little one because the RFS, they don't usually need to go to big building fires, so they don't need a huge ladder. They just got a little mini one. Let's check out what's in this locker. These guys are important. So that's called breathing apparatus. And so they're tanks that the firefighters put on their back, then they put the big mask on their face, which sometimes looks a bit scary, but it's just so that they can breathe when they go to car fires and building fires, and they're not breathing all that smoke in. What's in this last locker? Lots more hoses. All different sizes and different types. Different fittings. And different nozzles. So now we've seen all the different parts of the truck. Do you think I can go and ask Roz if she'll let Ozzy turn on the real hose? Come on, let's go find out. So I've got my new firefighter friend Roz here. And Roz is going to control the pump panel and Ozzy Ozzy's going to control the hose. So you grab it like that, and you walk it out. And then you say to Roz, water on. And once the water's on, you just pull this lever like this, and out comes the water. And then you can control the way the water comes out, wide, and narrow, which shoots it further into the air. And then when you're done, you turn it off like that and you say, water off. And Roz, our helpful firefighter friend, she's gonna turn it off over there at the truck. And that is how the hose works. How much fun is that? So how much fun was that visit? Getting to come along and see a real fire truck and meet a real firefighter. How awesome is Roz? She even let us go inside the fire truck and check all the different parts on the outside of the fire truck. And she even let Ozzy play with the hose and make the spray go wide and long. It was super fun. And just before we finish up, check out this truck that I found. It's from 1924, a long, long time ago. But they used to actually drive this guy out to the fires. She's old, but she's a beauty. So a massive thank you to the men at RFS. Thank you so much for letting us come along today. Kids, I hope you've had as much fun as Aussie. 
We'll see you on our next video. Until then, stay keen. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Another really exciting one. Today we're going to learn about another type of digger. This one behind me is called a posi track. They're only little small machines, but they're super fun and they can do some awesome things. Let's go and check them out and find out all about the posi track. Let's go. Let's start by having a look at some of the features on the outside of the posi track. Now, this thing here, that's called the bucket. And you can see it's big and wide and super strong because that's what we use to crush the rocks and pick up the soil and the materials on the building site. This one you can see has those sharp teeth and that's what we use for crushing the rocks. And it's also got a smooth edge which we use to smooth out the soil at the end of a job. Over here we've got the hydraulic cylinders and this one here picks up the bucket and lowers it down. And then the one at the end here that's what helps pick up this arm and get that bucket nice and high into the air. Now this guy here, that's called a track. Now there are other machines that look really similar to this. Same shape and size, but they have wheels and they're called skid steers. But the benefit of having a track instead of wheels is that it allows us to go over bumpier ground more easy. So this guy is pretty cool. Let's come around the back and see what else we've got. You can see some safety features up the top there. We've got the flashing yellow light. We've got headlights and rear lights that allow us to see where we're going. And the thing in the middle, that's a camera. So when we're driving the posi track, you can actually see what's behind you. Pretty cool. And this is where the engine lives. And the engine is what gives us the power to drive the posi track. And then this guy here, super important safety feature is if anything's going wrong, we just need to go bam, hit that, and it shuts everything off really quickly. And over on this side, we've got another track. So we've got one on each side, and you can see that it starts up high and then comes down low. And the reason for that shape is that that allows the posi track to go faster over the bumpy ground. So she's pretty versatile, this one. Let's go inside and check out some of the controls inside this thing which is called the cab. So this is the inside of the posi track. And do you see how Ozzy just got in? That's right, I had to climb up through the bucket and through the front door of the posi track. Pretty cool, hey? So this is the cab. And this thing around me, this is called a roll cage. And that's a really key, important safety feature. So that if anything falls, the driver is going to be protected. Now, I've already got my high-vis vest on. I also need to put my hard hat on. Then, next important safety thing is our seat belt. Now we're locked in, we're ready to go. But the posi won't start unless you're sitting down. So that's another really clever safety feature. And we're going to turn the key, and we're in business. Now we've got these awesome controls in here and that's what makes the bucket go up and down, open and close, and that's what makes the posi track go forward and backwards. But none of those are gonna work until we pull the arms down. Another cool safety feature. All right, I think we're ready to go. We're all locked in, we've got our safety features on. Now I'm gonna show you what the two handles do and how to drive the posi. So this one on the right, if I pull it up, that's gonna lift those arms. And if I drop it down, going to drop it back down. Now this one on the left, that's what we're going to use to move the posi forward, backwards and left and right. Let's have a look. 
forwards and backwards and to the right and to the left how cool is this machine let's see what it can do So just like lots of other construction vehicles, this posi has different types of buckets that goes on the front. This one is called a four in one, and that's because it goes open and shut and up and down. Let's have a look. So you can see I'm using the flat part of the bucket to try and flatten out the ground. This machine is super cool. much fun is a little posi track. Kids, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Lots to learn, lots to do. I reckon I need a bit more driving experience before I get confident using this. But hey, practice makes perfect. Kids, how awesome was that? Getting to learn all about this great little digger, the Posi Track. I learned lots today, and I hope you guys did too. And hopefully one day, just like Ozzy, you'll get to have a turn of the Posi Track. We'll see you on the next video, kids. And until then, stay keen. I'm going for one more drive. If you haven't already, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine.